What's up, guys? You already know what it is. It's a Christian Misfits. You got me. And yeah, me as well. And we're coming back again today with another topic. And this time it will be about spreading the gospel. Being an advocate of the truth and truly preaching Jesus Christ to other people. You know, just sharing his word and all. And like usual, I'll let no start. <laughs> Spreading the gospel, uh, there's a lot of things to say about spreading the gospel. I think the way I'm going to start it off is to say that it's something that's done for every every follower of Christ to do. Because, like I always say, it's not always for it's not for a few people to do it, but we're all called to do it as followers of Christ. You know, this I see. Um, so I have so many friends that always tell me like, "Oh man, like you no, know, the stuff you say under that it's crazy. People really need to hear it." Da 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 da, da and like. I'm like, yeah, it could be you too because we're all called to do it. It's not only a few. Yep. And I believe it's in Matthew 28. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure. I think it's Matthew 28. Matthew 28. It has to be Matthew yeah. 28. It's, I'm going to go and check see what it says. But um, that's when Jesus talks to his disciples and he tells his disciples to go and make disciples in the nations. You know, I think I said this a couple of videos back. But, and in that, they had to preach the news, the good news. And... Yeah. That's Jesus Christ himself And the word says in Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 Therefore go and make disciples of all nations Baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit Teaching them to obey everything that I've commanded you Look, I myself will be with you every day until the end of this present age you see that verse itself, it proves that we're all supposed to be doing something. You know, it's impossible for a Christian that just that's just saved and then they just relax, they do what they usually do, or they just go to school and then they go and work and they pay both they pay bills and work's <laughs> done, they die and that's it. No, like the people that are living till this day, like we have a purpose, like I always say, and there's a calling when it comes to this. And God the one thing that He commanded us to do is to go and make disciples. You know, it's it's important to do those things. That's why that's why you see a few churches that tells you to, you know, they do some of these ministries to go and actually evangelize some people. What is it called again? I think they give them uh, reach, reaching out. Um, outreach. That's what yeah, outreach, <laughs> outreach, outreach, yeah, outreach. 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 Yeah. They go and they do outreaches. Sometimes you just see people yeah. that just go out and evangelize and stuff like that. It's really important, you know. The street, street preachers. Some people go door to door. It's crazy. And yeah. Even me, I look at them like, wow, that that takes a lot of courage. Cause a lot of courage. There's yeah. a lot of preachers that got beat up for doing that stuff. Obviously, persecution came along, but it's crazy, man. There's a lot of courage when it comes to that, and it's it's really motivating, and it's something that's really important because that that itself makes God proud, and that's something that we should do. And when, when, what thing, one thing that comes along with this is preaching the right message. You know, one thing I want to say is that we can't sugarcoat our preaching. We can't compromise what we're trying to say. If you have something to say that's direct, you have to say it directly. Sure, you can say what you've been through, so but at a point there's gonna be there's there's no limits. Basically, you have to tell them straight up the way it is. If a person's getting hit by a train, I always bring up this, this example. If a person's about to get hit by a train, you're not gonna go there and be like, hey, you have two decisions, man. It's either you wanna you want to get hit by the train but you know like go at your own pace you could just wait and if anything hopefully everything will be fine no that that basically itself is hiding the truth you have to go out and yell at the person okay not <laughs> <laughs> In, in that case, you, know, but you have in, to in, yell at yeah. like, hey, yeah. You know, in, like in, in, in that case, you have to yell at them. But when it comes to actually evangelizing someone, you don't yeah, necessarily so, yeah. have to yell at them and be like, hey, stop what you're doing. No, you basically give them the warning. Yeah. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Just like sense of, of, yeah. of emergency. Yeah, because emergency. Yeah, it's important for these people to be saved. And when it comes to seeing the truth, of course, not everyone's going to like the truth because hurts yeah the truth hurts a lot of people don't like the truth but once you preach the true message that's gonna stand it's gonna stay it's like it's gonna stay in their minds trust me if i told Yvonne something that was sugar-coated he won't take it as serious but if i told Yvonne something that was offensive then he, he there's a chance that he'd be angry there's a chance that he'd be mad or or whatever but by the time we leave and he'll just be there, he's gonna reflect he's gonna he's gonna think about it and by the time he's gonna be like oh you know maybe what he said was true that's how it works that's this is the reason why we preach and this is why we preach the truth and we keep it straightforward all the time because it's the way the bible tells us to do when jesus was in the road 
he did not compromise he did not sugarcoat and it's not right to do these things we're not no what do you call what is, what is this false, false false we're not those false preachers all these guys these guys they, they love to compromise they love to sugarcoat that's why they have so many members going to their churches yep. because some people they even like to preach half the truth no you gotta preach the full out truth it's not about being blessed it's not about giving tithes it's not about any of that no it's about following Jesus Christ because he died for his sins and we have to repent because he's coming soon. That's what it really is. I don't feel anything to that. That's true, man. Like, sharing the word of God is super important and it's very, 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 very crucial. I, I, think I, have, to, I, I have to keep on adding more varies. very. Very, <laughs> very, 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 because a lot of people rather just do their own life, not care about others, and claim that they're saved and a saved person can't do that if you're saved if you call yourself a christian then you're gonna have the love for souls right and you're gonna you're going to want to bring people to god and everything that you do right and that's really going to be um pounding in your heart and it's um crazy because a lot of people nowadays they don't want to do that and yes you can say it's hard you can say that oh the uh i don't know like people will hate me or stuff like that will happen but you still have to do it the wrong call to do it right because how can I, like Noah said, how can I see my brother or like someone walking in the street, for example, and he's on a train track and the train's coming at full speed and he doesn't know, he has his earphones in, he's just walking. <laughs> like, you're gonna be like, hey, you're gonna try to stop them, you're gonna, you're gonna do whatever you can to get their attention so that they can jump off, right? See, like, it's yelling and all that, but at the end of the day, you save the person's life, right? So, we have to, we have to think like wisely, we have to think about what the future holds instead of just always reflecting on the present. See, if the person's happy in the present and loses life in the future, what's the whole point? Because the end of something is, is more important than its beginning, right? But a lot of people uh, don't understand that. And we really have to, I don't know, just have that drive and have that motivation to truly preach the word of God and everything that we do and truly be um, messengers of Christ. We have to preach in every way possible. We have to take a stand. We have to take a stand. That's what I'm saying. And like... A lot of people they see me and Noah preaching and all that like, like you said in the beginning and then they ask us they tell us oh yeah keep on preaching what you're saying is great man da, da, da. but like why are you doing it bro it's, it's not it's not it, the bible didn't just say no one evil will preach the yeah. word man. no it's, it's all of us it's his disciples yeah. and Lord, you gotta know who's christ's disciples we are christ's disciples and there's not just a few it's not just the pastors it's, it's not just the apostles it's not the bishops no it's everyone that decides to to follow god basically everyone every christian is a messenger of god every christian we all have to share the word we all have to share the gospel of jesus christ jesus christ dying on the cross to save our lives and to set us free from sin we all have to preach that to others we have to show love to others and showing true love to others is telling them the truth about their lives because you don't want them to go in hell in eternal fire and that's important so i don't know if you want to continue on i mean one thing that really bothers me is, is like what Yvonne said, a lot of people are scared to be persecuted. I remember I would see some people that would actually be bold and actually take a stand and say a few things. And then once they saw how a lot of people got offended and they started persecuting him, they started, um, I don't know, cussing him out and stuff like that. And they got scared, They're like, you know what, I don't want this. This is not what I expected it to be. It's not like that. We're not expected to be loved, you know? Just like um, no, the, the word says, yeah, the word says we're gonna be hated, gonna be hated. just for that name itself, yep. for his name's sake. It's that crazy, and we just gotta be bold. There's another verse in the Bible. I don't know where exactly, but it talks about um, how we're going to receive persecution. Like it's gonna yep. come along, and it doesn't matter if it's a stranger, it doesn't matter if it's a friend, it doesn't matter if it's a sibling or a parent or a cousin, family, friends, anything of that sort, acquaintances, enemy. It does not matter. There's gonna be persecution. Not everyone's gonna want to agree with you. It's, it's, it's that serious. That's how life works. Yeah. Not everyone's always going to agree with what you think. But if you follow the word of God and you follow it at 100%, you wouldn't care about what other people think, right? So we really got to take a stand, really take the initiative to be true advocates of the word, be true disciple of Jesus Christ, making of all nations disciples. Yeah. That's what we tr we're truly called out to do. Right? We're called out to spread the word and truly love others from the bottom of our heart, right? And... You can't say that you love God if you don't love your neighbors. Yeah. It's impossible. Where is he? That Prince John? It says that in, um, in the gospel. Oh, it, in says gospel. Says, it says yeah. like, like the two biggest commandments. Like, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Okay. Right? And a lot of people... 
they don't do that. A lot of people they say, "Oh, I love God," but they don't even love their neighbors as, as, as they love themselves. And you don't that's want to forgive. That. Yeah, they want to let go of sin. Trust me, a lot of things holding holding all of us back. And you truly gotta let go of that and truly start living for God at hundred percent. And sh- and truly sharing this word, it's super yeah. important. One thing that comes along for that is to be bold. You know, like I said, when I see people extreme like preachers and all that, it's motivating. It motivates me to like actually want to do more of God's work it motivates me to actually want to go and preach out to other people because that's courage and what we're doing we've been doing this since high school and we've been facing a lot of persecution we've been made fun of and we're getting laughed at a lot of things was going on we caught hate yeah we <laughs> caught hate from people some people cut us off some people yeah. won't even talk to us anymore some people, some people would us. they would avoid they would take us off social media yeah. it's that crazy and till this day it's happening but yeah. nothing's gonna stop us from doing god's work it doesn't matter what hits us it doesn't matter if we're in times of struggles we have to stay faithful no matter what no matter what no matter what it's a big time struggle man so honestly you gotta be bold you gotta be bold it's 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 key for a few people because i know a lot of people that are scared to speak out but it's something that you must do and ask god for it because don't just rely on yourself to get it and then be like, you know what, I'm going to keep practicing. No, 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 no. Like, you, you, you have to ask God. It, it, like, when it comes to those situations, that's when prayer comes along. So, yep. you have to stay prayed up. You got to stay faithful and just make sure that you stay, like, on the right page. Because you don't want to do a few things that are not living right. That is self- God doesn't like seeing stuff like that. So, that's what he sees it in a lot of churches. There's there's a few churches, God, there's a lot of churches that God looks at and what we see is a lot of people, but what God sees is nothing. 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 And that's sad. Yeah, that's uh, that's how a lot of people are in the world right now. And they don't even like the true message. They're just all blinded by who knows. Like they're blinded by anything nowadays. It's crazy. If you check out the trends they see on social media, <laughs> it's crazy. Like there's a lot of nonsense going on. And, Boldness comes to this and preaching the right message, do it in the right way. Do not sugarcoat. I encourage you not to sugarcoat because I remember doing that a few times and um, some people they just went back to what they're usually doing, man. Yeah, it's really that. Like, you try to like give it in a nice way and just try to, you know, like trying to slip it in there a bit. But when, when you do that to people, they won't truly understand the true meaning of it. You really gotta aim for their heart. Yeah, you gotta you, aim for their heart. Gotta when you aim for their heart, they're going to think about it and reflect about it because it's going to, it's going to the truth bothers, right? Yeah. So it's going to bother them. They're going to start thinking and thinking, and eventually, you know, the truth will set them free, which is Jesus Christ. Yeah, yo, it's that serious, and you really gotta watch out because it's no joke, man. So honestly, me personally, what I would tell you guys to just stay faithful, just stay, like I said, stay on the right page, man, because. Mm-hmm. You want to do everything God told you to do. You don't want to slack on it. And no, like we're saying, it's not only for a few Christians to go out and make disciples, but all Christians. It doesn't matter if it's at work. It doesn't matter if it's at school. God puts us in certain situations for certain reasons. We may not understand it. We may or may not, but I always got to trust in God. He knows what he's doing. He makes no mistakes. It's God. He can do whatever he wants and when he wants. You can't question him. You can't question God. That's how he works. Yeah. And I had, a, I had a tough time going through that before, but I point to myself, I just gotta be faithful. And then everything just went smooth from there on. So yep. <laughs> that's how it was for me. But yeah, I didn't see. And another verse of backup, when Noah said, God does whatever he wants, he, he does what he does. Yeah. Psalms, <laughs> Psalms 115, 3. God's in heaven, he does whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. And that's all I had to say for today. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, honestly, we pray that this truly motivates you guys because, like we said, there's not a lot of people that are doing this. You have to go out and actually speak to other people. It's important. I didn't see myself doing YouTube. We, we both didn't see <laughs> ourselves ever. doing YouTube. I didn't think ever. I'd be doing vlogs. I didn't think I'd be bad at on. Like, I'm the type just to do my thing incognito. If I was in a world by now, <laughs> who knows? But I'm not going to get into details, but... No, I'm doing all of this just for God and for God only. I wouldn't be doing this for any other reason. You just gotta see as many people as you want and just keep doing His will. You gotta stay according to His will at all times, forever. So that's one thing I encourage you guys. Make sure that you keep saying the right message. Make sure that you don't slack when it comes to preaching God's word and always 
to be guided by the Holy Spirit because you do not want to relate to your own knowledge, but you want to really, um, you want to link to God speaking through you. That's what's truly going to change a few people depending on who you do speak to and whichever situation, whichever case that you're in. Yeah, so I just pray that you guys will be blessed, man. Just make sure you do what you do, man. So. The only thing that will last is yours And your love for us is forever told And there's only one thing that got me feeling like this I'm in the place where I see your face and nothing else in I just Wanna stay in this moment forever And I know that I